Hey guys, Rich Morgan from Magic Touch Mechanical, uh, air conditioning and heating contractor in Mesa, Arizona. Um, today I wanted to talk about your air conditioning unit and home warranty companies. So uh, every year uh, during the height of summer, uh, I see lots of posts on Facebook groups about uh, people who have home warranties they have no air conditioning and they post, hey, I, I, you know, I can't get my home warranty company. Nobody will come out here and look at this. Um, and they're pretty frustrated uh, with their home warranty company and basically vendors that they can't get to come uh, to look at their air conditioner. So today I posted a, uh, a blog post on our website if you want to check it out. Uh, our website is airconditioningarizona.com and uh, in the menu just click on blog. Uh, I posted it today July 20th of 23 and um, it's uh, home, home Warranty Companies and AC Units is the title. So uh, by the way I'm kind of perusing the article as we talk here so if you see my eyes scrolling down uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm up to. I'm kind of uh, just doing the blog in video format. So um, so over the years I've been asked, uh, should I buy a warranty, home warranty to cover my AC unit? <clears throat> and I wanted to talk about my experience, uh, both as a, well, as an owner, as an air conditioning service tech prior to starting my own AC company, the owner of an HVAC company who at one time many years ago worked for some of these home warranty companies. And then feedback from just thousands of home warranty cust company customers over the last 35 years I've been in this business. Um, so also I should start by saying that this is not, you know, all home warranty companies are created equal. Some are better than others, just like air conditioning companies and just like any other business. Um, so I'm not making a blanket statement here that home warranty companies are good or bad in general. Um, and I'm specifically talking today about air conditioning coverage, uh, not the rest of your appliances, your plumbing, the electrical in your home. Um, I have found some people that uh, are quite satisfied with their home warranty company over the years, uh, and most specifically when it comes to some of those other things, especially uh, refrigerators and dishwashers and whatnot. When it comes to ACs, though, um, I often hear a little bit different story. So um let's start with uh, you know my experience as a HVAC service technician before I started Magic Touch um and kind of the things that I would get from homeowners. So first and foremost as a technician um <clears throat> especially in the summertime uh, people are already on edge when they don't have any air conditioning especially here in Phoenix you know today it's I think 118 degrees so it's a little toasty. Um and so my experience as an HVAC technician when I worked for other companies that took on some home warranty work was <clears throat> the homeowners were already extremely aggravated uh, by the time I got there. And typically that's because it took them a week, sometimes more, to actually get somebody to come out there. Um, so had they been working with a, a, a regular company that not through a home warranty, they would have become more of a priority. So um, they, their, their feelings towards the home warranty uh, are already bad. So, and it's a bad situation for a technician who arrives and you have an aggravated customer already, right? Um, but then the other thing I would experience was that we were often a, uh, a second opinion or, or a callback because either sometimes the last technician the home warranty company sent out either didn't fix it right or uh, didn't nail it. And now we're there for a um, for another uh, call and another week went by. So now these people have gone, you know, a week, two weeks sometimes uh, without having any air conditioning. Um, so my my other experience with home warranty companies was Band-Aid repairs. So many times air conditioners fail because of a, a bigger problem, right? So, um, <clears throat> you know, 
I've had experiences where I'm on the phone with the home warranty company and I say, okay, here's the problem. It's blank part, but you know, this isn't a long-term fix. Um, this other part needs to be repaired uh, and it'll prevent this part from failing again. And the home warranty company will not cover it. They'll only cover something that has already failed. So they consider um, the underlying cause of what caused it to fail preventative. So they say, well, if that needs to be fixed, the homeowner needs to pay for it. Um, a, as a technician not working for a home warranty company, if I'm giving advice to my client, I'm going to tell them, hey, this other part is what's causing this part to fail. Let's fix them both, and then you won't have this problem anymore. And most people are going to take me up on that, right? Uh, not the case with the home warranty companies. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, you know, home warranty companies have relationships with suppliers. Um, and they want to supply the parts. They want to supply parts, equipment, and let's just say you're not going to buy the top-notch part, right? Their objective is uh, to earn dividends for their shareholders. So um, they're trying to get low-cost repairs, and they're using low-cost parts to do it. Stuff that contractors wouldn't put in their own home, and they wouldn't put, um, you know, if you, if you called me and you were a Magic Touch customer, I'm not going to advise you to buy the cheap part. I'm going to advise you to buy the part that's going to last that I feel comfortable putting a good warranty on. Um, denials. Nothing worse than explaining to a home warranty company or a home warranty company customer that the home warranty company denied their claim for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> and they do it quite often. Um, the list of reasons that uh, home warranty companies will find to deny a claim is long and, in my opinion, wrong. Um, and then um, repair versus replace uh, situations, right? So there are times when repair is just, it's not advisable, right? You know, we got a 25-year-old unit here. It's going to take a $2,000 repair to get this job done. Um, if I'm dealing directly with the homeowner who's coming out of pocket for these things, I'm not going to advise them to repair something that where they're throwing good money after bad, right? Um, we're going to use something we call a repair versus replace worksheet. It takes opinion out of the mix, and it's just um, a point system, right? So how old is the system? Uh, how much money in repairs does it need? Uh, how much are you spending a year on repairs? This kind of thing. Uh, versus what if you replaced it, what would a new unit cost, how long you covered under warranty with that new unit, <clears throat> how much would your utility bills decrease, etc., etc., right? Um, so home warranty company, however, is never going to replace that system. They're going to band-aid it to death um, until they just can't anymore. Um, and in that situation, they're not going to give a homeowner a system that um, the, that the homeowner might choose for themselves. So rather than kind of advancing and getting a better system and being more comfortable and reducing your utility bills, you just kind of keep getting stuck in the past. Um, so um, now let's talk about my experience as the owner of Magic Touch Mechanical uh, and working with warranty companies. <clears throat> we'll no longer work with warranty companies at all. Um, but for the first few years I'm in, I was in business, I, um, you know, a small company starting up uh, with a small marketing budget. Uh, home warranty companies can be a good way to meet new people, meet homeowners uh, that, um, you know, we want to impress them. So then they choose us going forward once their home warranty expires. As we know, all know, usually a home warranty uh, comes with a new home purchase. So it might not be something that the homeowner would regularly pick for themselves, but they got it with their home, myself included. Um, and, you know, you're going to try to use it as much as you can for the first year and get your money's worth out of it, right? Um, so thereafter, though, um, the from, from a, a vendor standpoint, from an air conditioning contractor standpoint, it is a good low-cost way to meet new customers, hopefully wow them, 
and um, have yourself a new customer. <clears throat> so um, one of the reasons that I stopped working for home warranty companies is that contractors are measured not by their success rate, not by customer feedback, their skill set, but by the lowest average invoice. And I'm not speculating when I say that. I actually had a home warranty company representative tell me that once, um, that we could get more calls if we could bring our average ticket down. Um, well, at the end of the day, what's wrong with the air conditioner is wrong with the air conditioner. So what they want you to do is find reasons that that might not be covered and that the homeowner, the homeowner should pay uh, rather than the home warranty company. Uh, what's the point of a home warranty then? Um, so the, obviously this puts the policyholder at a huge disadvantage, right? If the name of the game is how easily can you make us as the home warranty company uh, give us the ability to deny this claim and make the homeowner pay for it. Uh, so that was the main reason that I got out of it. But there were other reasons, right? Um, home, home warranties calls, they're very low margin. Um, you have a predetermined diagnosis and repair payment rate. And because every contractor knows this, they know that they're working for very low margins, right? Um, versus a, a homeowner that ha their best interests are to fix their equipment the proper way, right? Um, so a, a vendor has to make up for that with speed. And frankly, um, I was building our company reputation at the time. Mind you, we're 26 years old, so we're going very, very far back. I believe I worked with home warranty companies for about my first three years in business. Um, but frankly, I wasn't willing to put my name on rush jobs. You know, the, the old saying, haste makes waste. Um, and I wasn't willing to bend it equipment, have an aggravated customer that I knew the system was going to break down again. Um, <clears throat> and I just didn't want to put my name on that. So more often than not, I would lose money because I would spend more time fixing it right knowing that it was a low margin, uh, low dollar um, return for me. And um, and so I just wasn't making any money on them. And I'm, I'm not in the HVAC business as a hobby. You know, I want to make a profit. Uh, that's what people are in business for. I want to make a fair profit, but I want to make a profit. Um, so uh, long hold times and waits for approvals, right? So Get, I get in, diagnose, let's say it takes me 30 minutes to diagnose what's going on, and then I sit on the phone for an hour um, instead of being on my way to my next call. If, had that have been a regular homeowner that I was working direct with, I would have diagnosed it, said, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Homeowner, here's your issue, here's how much it's going to cost to repair, what should we do, go ahead and repair it, Rich, great, let's get you, go, let's get you taken care of. Um, get them fixed up, get them cooling again, and I'm on my way to my next call. Um, so from a, from a um, contractor standpoint, um, this can be a frustrating process too, which in turn is going to become a frustrating process for the homeowner. Um, <clears throat> the last straw for me was uh, renegotiation. So I actually had a, um, a representative from one of these warranty companies call me up um, I was waiting on about 10 grand in receivables for work that had already been approved and completed and the customers fixed up again and everything. And um, 90 days comes and goes and I'm not getting paid. Um, and uh, so I actually had one of these representatives want to renegotiate the money they already owed me that they had already approved. And they actually he actually had the nerve to say to me, well, if you... Um, if we can renegotiate this down, I can get you paid more quickly. Now, mind you, this money was already owed to me. Um, so, um, <clears throat> so you're not going to get a good contractor for very long that's going to be working with a home warranty company. Now, I'm not going to say every vendor uh, that works for a home warranty company or does home warranty company work is bad, right? Obviously, I did it for three years. Uh, we're in business for 26 years. We have an A-plus record with the BBB. We have a 4.8 uh, average star rating on Google with, 
600 something reviews. Uh, we've been the top rated HVAC contractor on Angie with 600 something reviews for better than two decades. I could go on and on. We have basically 3,000 something uh, five star reviews all across the internet on all the different review sites. And I was once a contractor that worked for these home warranty companies. Um, so you are going to find some great companies with a lot of integrity and honesty and skilled that maybe they're startups and they're, um, and they're using the home warranty companies to gain customers for the first couple of years in business. But then you're going to have kind of the not necessarily cream of the crop. Um, and uh, it's the only way they can get business. I know companies here in the Valley, uh, all they do is home warranty work. And some of them do really, really poor work. Um, but the home warranty companies love them because they keep their bills down. Um, so, but from you as the homeowner, the policyholder, not in your best interest. Um, so, um, you know, my experience as a service technician uh, with these home warranty companies over the years, I would have to say I'm thinking of conversations with policyholders, with homeowners over the last 35 years. Um, and the posts that I see on Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. And um, the overall consensus seems to be that um, when it comes to air conditioning and home warranty companies, there are more negatives than there are positives. Um, so really, you know, um, my advice, especially if you're thinking about covering yourself in the event of a catastrophic failure of your HVAC equipment, you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm covered if the, I hope the AC fails because then the home warranty company has to buy me a new one. Um, first off, um, you, it's, you'd be hard pressed unless the parts are no longer made, which does happen, but it's rare. You'd be hard pressed to, um, find a situation where an air conditioner cannot be made to run again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, I've seen home warranty companies that want to put in a third or fourth replacement compressor. Um, um, just, uh, you know, band-aiding and patching leaks. And um, and you got this equipment that it's... It's not doing you any good anymore, right? You're, you're, you're not comfortable. Your family's not comfortable. Um, you're paying astronomical utility bills. And it's all because of bad advice rather than just working with a contractor that wants to win your happiness, right? Like my objective as a contractor is to earn a customer that says, yep, these guys are five stars. Not only because I know... Now I got a customer for life that trusts me, but because referrals are the best marketing there is, right? So when you tell your cousin, your brother, your neighbor about Magic Touch Mechanical, um, they already trust us. Um, so I'm going to give you advice that's your that's in your best interests, right? Um, because giving you advice that's in your best interest is in my best interest. Um, and then everybody wins. Whereas with a home warranty company, and again, I'm not make, I, I don't want to make this as a blanket statement. 15% of people are delighted with their home warranty company, right? Um, and I can understand, you know, uh, you get a replacement stove, you get a replacement refrigerator or dishwasher because it was cheaper to just give you a new one than the repair costs. Um, those situations, I can see why somebody would be happy with those. And, you know, if you want to um, hedge your bets, a home warranty company for those types of items might not be a bad idea. But when it comes to um, equipment like air conditioning systems, which are one of the most expensive purchases you'll make for your home, um, it's never going to be cheaper to replace it than to repair it. It might be advisable to replace it versus repair it, but it's never going to be cheaper to replace it than repair it. So that's what the home warranty companies are going to do because that's what their shareholders want, right? 
Um, so last bit, uh, plug for Magic Touch. If we're in Mesa, Arizona, if you live within a 35-mile radius of Mesa, Arizona, um, give us a call for your air conditioning and heating needs. We also own the fireplace where we do fire pits and fire uh, places and fire feature repairs and replacements. You can reach us at 480-855-8789. And again, if you want to read this article or other articles we posted, and we've posted hundreds and hundreds of them over the years, it's airconditioningarizona.com, and the blog is in the upper menu on the right-hand side. Thanks, and uh, hope this helped you out with something today. Stay cool.